everybody this is Texas Tiger Digs and uh, uh, yep another box uh, you know I try to do some uh, some product reviews and I show you some products and and then when I actually get a chance to take them out in the field I'll discuss them their quality etc I've got a couple of um, a couple of things well one thing behind I've got to get out in the field but you know it's been a hectic week or so but I'm gonna to try to do at least one of these a week it might expand to two weeks according to availability according to time according to funds etc uh, you know you know maybe I'll get you know in, 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 it, could, it could be a host of things but that's gonna be my target and, and maybe more often on occasion as well and maybe less often on other occasions uh, but uh, hope maybe it'll average out to maybe once a week or you know maybe you know 40 or 50 times in a given year in any case uh, this I purchased from Canada and I haven't bought a lot of items from Canada it's a uh, I mean, I love the country I've only been there once the cleanest nicest people in the world are in Canada they have some outrageous winter weather uh, which is amazing they're such nice people and uh, I know that they're not the 51st state and I know we're not the lower province but we do feel a, a kinship to each other quite a bit and I was happy when I found this and saw it was from Canada I said oh that, that's great you know it still has some of the quirks of international shipping of course uh, going across the national border but everything was smooth and it came uh, relatively quickly uh, so yeah, you know we don't have to go across any continental separation like oceans to get here so that makes it a lot easier and uh, so I have purchased this and let me open this up and we'll take a look at it I'm using my my elder and uh, elder uh, Swiss Army knife here the one that seriously needs sharpening that's not bad though. and uh, you guys know that 95% of the time you know it's gonna be a tool or it's gonna be a digger who knows you may see something else you may see a gag gift or something along the way but I'm, I'm tend I tend to stay pretty centrally focused on a, a couple of things I enjoy and uh, and I do enjoy this community because it combines the two things I love most and that is metal detecting with the other thing I love a lot which is tools metal etc so I keep saying that thing and this is a digger guys and uh, it is a great looking digger you know I mean it is really superb looking and heavy you guys know I've, I've, I've even had a little uh, video on the lash and why it doesn't work real great in my plate in my area you know but all you lash people I do admit in there that I believe it is the best all-around digger but that doesn't mean I'm not searching for a better than best all-around digger but this is a great looking had a little bit of a hokey advertisement to it but and you know I but I bought it so it worked what's the old saying you know you don't uh, you just got to make it memorable or as long as they spell your name correctly well this is the the digger I found and you know if I found it from an unusual source chances are it was eBay and uh, but I heard about it for a while uh, uh, one of the uh, one of the international purchasers from England international to Canada and to the United States of course had purchased this and, and it comes as a package deal there's a, there's a couple there's another deal where you get a large uh, large scoop or uh, and I bought the one that had the knee pads in it because knee pads are things that uh, that I need the most and actually I only need a, I only need a knee pad on one knee so that was the package. It was a very, very daunting looking digger here. And a couple of uh, nice, like potentially quality knee pads. Is it, Vel is it Velcro? Yeah, it's Velcro. And that's good. And uh, uh, weird weirdly enough, I don't go down on both knees. I simply drop to my. Uh, 
I dropped to my left knee. I have to think about it. I can do it automatically. I dropped to my left knee, so <laughs> probably one pad will do me good. But if I have two, so much the better. I also have another, of course, set of pads right here. But I didn't really need the uh, the scoop. You guys know digger diggers and gardening tools are not in shortage around where I around here. In case this is the digger. And as usual, it's 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 one of the very lish like diggers, but uh, you know, I, uh, one of these one of my subscribers mentioned that when I said that the lash was best, he preferred the Garrett. I don't because I, I have been able to bend the Garrett, and me it's not a, it doesn't feel like case hardened steel to me. But his thing was that it you can sharpen both sides and have a uh, have a better cutter, and this is a sharpen both sides type of uh, of digger and I don't know I don't know you know on those rare occasions I can get plugs this way or that way I don't really know which way I go I think I go according to the situation or the mood not that I'm ambidextrous I just I'm, I'm ambidirectional I guess but uh, you know that's cool it, it's very it's it's very uh, it's very well formed, so you have do have a little scoop in here. There's a center, a center spine basically that has been bent on, and uh, and it does have this brace that I always like to make sure. And that's the one thing that that troubles me about the uh, Garrett uh, digger is that it doesn't have that spine to make sure that this stays stable at all costs. But uh, so I just wanted to give a give you a little look at this because this will be coming out very very soon I really do like this it is one of those frightening looking uh, things but you know I've got frightening looking shovels too and in the areas where I dig now I'm pretty much of a fixture so people don't think I'm I'm an oddball any more than they think any of us are oddballs and I know we, a lot of people think we're oddballs but uh, but this is cool so I just want to show this and this is called the uh, ironclad viking digging tool so it's got the, uh, it's got a uh, somewhat hokey name. It's got a warranty and uh, etc. Got the shipping information, etc. It's a one calendar year repair replacement warranty. I'm not really worried about that with this. I don't think uh, I don't think one year is going to be much of a limit on the function of this. I'm I don't look for it to go out on a 366 day. 367th day if it's a leap year so uh yeah so I, i'm gonna really like that in any case i just wanted to show you that and uh i'll be getting that out for review uh, i'm not gonna worry about reviewing the knee pads yeah right now that'll work and uh so uh that will be uh it for today at least for this as much but it's going to quickly find its way into my pouch and i'm going to quickly take it out there i'm going to take it out there and give it a run i'm probably going to carry it and my my large uh, predator tool. Uh, you guys know the little mini scoop shovel that I prefer for my dirt on many occasions. It's not going anywhere, but I will uh, definitely like to have this uh, in my bag for a while. Anyway, this is Texas Tiger Digs and uh, showing you the uh, ironclad Viking digging tool. I did purchase this through uh, eBay. I'm sure they may have different uh, avenues. Uh, of uh, purchase but you know it's something you can think about it and, and it is very very heavy I like heavy maybe that's why I weigh so much in any case you have a wonderful day and I will uh, talk to you later and there'll be more reviews coming um, I got a multi-tool uh, maybe a couple of multi-tools that are on the way uh, one pretty much the Cadillac of the uh, of uh, of a, this particular brand of multi tool, and uh, I'll be uh, reviewing that sometime in the near future. Any guys, anyway, guys, you take a uh, you have a wonderful day, and I will uh, see you out in the field. In fact, in the edge, you can see my digs, uh, my meager digs this week. Nothing really spectacular, but the week isn't over. Uh, you have a wonderful day.